there. Marley, our hosts, in a predominantly white strip and with the crowd very much. Giving them that home ground boost. Scored in the uh, recent friendly against Nigeria, also scored on this left-hand side for Ghana. Now he picks up the ball again, this time though forced backwards. And that's nicely played. Very nicely played. Ghana coming forwards here. Here's Lamptey. And he's just shanked that cross. Bali on the edge of the box, but too many red shirts in the way. Semenyo crowded out on the halfway line for Ghana. Now Sacco again. This time goes long. Ball over the top. The defenders missed it. Goes for the penalty. Boy, there's a sprawling save there from Matty Zigi. Danger not gone yet. Another. This time going for the edge of the six-yard box. And the eventually ball gets a bit sticky there in midfield. And oh dear. Well, that was a pity. Lampsy tripping over the ball and giving the ball straight back to Marley. Karte coming up from back as well. And now space on the left-hand side for Sinioka. Wrestled to the floor. Just thought they're going away. Well, they can do something a bit cuter here. Goes into the near post. Hoofed away by Mensa. Fairly stodgy start so far from Ghana. Box here. Now the crossfield ball to this near side. Picked up by Mensa. Ball back in again. Taken away from Neuma. Kulibali plays the ball out. Marley here. Could maybe spring a counter attack of the game. Actually, Marley starting off with three home games. In this qualification. Next up will be uh, a trip to Madagascar in four days' time. It's ball pinged over the top here. Marley on the attack. Fisk. Amadou Hedara prepares to swing this one in, maybe somewhere towards the penalty spot. Goes a little bit longer. Spectacular with the clearance. The shot comes in from Guindo. Now the ball swept the width of the pitch. And a really nice injection of pace from Lamptey. Still Lamptey here, all the way down to the byline, gets the cross in. Still on the ball here, Garner eventually crowded out as he tried to get the shot away. It was Kudus. On in midfield by Nurma. Now Semenyo makes a run down the channel, cuts back inside. Well, that's a lovely turn from Semenyo. He's going to try and pull the trigger here across goal. And that's going to go out for a throw. Well, it wasn't that wide, to be perfectly honest. I think with ball chipped over the top, nicely taken by Semenyo again, tries to uh, get the ball in and there's a high foot there from the defender, the referee says no foul. And Hedara bring the ball forwards, Dumbia turns, twists, tries to pull the trigger, now the shot comes in here, well blocked. Good play as well now from Kudus trying to bring the ball. Ooh, nice ball through for Semenyo making the run here. He's one on one with the last defender. Semenyo cuts inside, pulls the trigger just over the bar. I mean, not much of the way of humidity, but hardly a breath of wind either. Just to take the edge off that heat. Two minutes of time added on at the end of the first half. Ball goes long. That's well one on the edge of the area. The cutback as well. The shot. Blocked, and then the rebound, double rebound, and in for the opener. And on the stroke of half time, somehow Marley have taken the lead. Here we go. The ball came in. The shot from Dumbia blocked, it was. the noise 
going up another notch there you wouldn't think it was possible but it has somehow now that hammer blow for Garner just as they've been looking probably their, at their best they had in the whole match just before the break good defending here from Sacco just about gets the job done can they find something before the interval Semenyo empty with a delivery to the near post not a red shirt near it and that's it in the line for Garner the number 19 Jordan Ayu this is nice play Lamptey in behind good ball in there and Semenya couldn't quite make contact the ball back in and eventually goes out for a corner going deep the keeper flapping at it and the header goes wide Alexander Jiku yeah the referee says play on as Doombia hits the turf attempted through ball there Oh dear, mistakes here at the back. Nearly threw on goal there. Gideon Mensah under all sorts of pressure. We've got a Ghana player down in the middle of the pitch. Lofted forward. Semenyo gets a touch. When it eventually falls nicely here for Ghana. Kudus denied on the edge of the six-yard box. A roar comes up from the home fans. Danger not gone yet, though. Ball whipped into the back post, and there's the equaliser. Ernest Neumann. The ball swung in from the right. It was a perfect delivery. And Garner, back on level terms, breathing life into their World Cup campaign. Why is it that all Ghana commentators sound the same? Sounds like it's always the same person. Nice. Ambo. Wa switchy play bona kwa kodi abante fala isako a kosu bana ten te te mali he eka kitwebi bono a goal kick Lawrence Atiziki one train transfer kura wa bonu bum edi echiremu Kudus, nice pass from Kudus, one year, Antoine Samano. Jordan Ayu comes forward. Diagonal run. Oh, the beautiful pass through there. A brilliant save. The moment is a massa. It's a lovely move. And that's really good goalkeeping, keeping his arms up. Making himself bigger, the goalkeeper. Rather hopeful looking cross, cross through a ball from Suleimana. Rather shrugs his shoulders when he realizes there was no one anywhere near, but they're both in one height. The pitch here again by Garner. Are they alive to the danger here? Brilliant tackle. Oh, and save on the line. And the shot comes in, and that's the winner, surely. Garner. The substitutes invade the pitch. And really, having been on the back foot for most of the game, it looks like they're going to take all three points here. They nearly bagged the winner just a few moments ago. Through Thomas Party, the captain. And then moments later, won the ball high at the pitch on that left-hand side. And it was the main red who reacted quickest to the ball back into the box. The referee with his work cut out. Keeping the substitutes under control. I think half the coaching staff are on the pitch as well. And in the end, Jordan Ayu off the bench. The score is 24. This is the last minute of the game. The ball comes in, and there's too much on it. He goes straight out of play. The Ghanaians now will take their sweet time over the goal kick, I'm sure. 
Jordan Ayu scored the winner for the Black Stars as he came on as a substitute to score the final goal and get Ghana a win over Mali in Bamako to ensure that Coach Otuado's men got three points over Mali and Ghana have moved up on the World Cup qualifies table and Ghana are up there in the group good to see Jordan Ayu get a goal for the Black Stars after a long time it was Dumbia who scored the first goal for Mali but Ernest Nyaman got the equalizer for the Black Stars then later on Jordan Ayu found the much needed goal for the Black Stars to win the game share your thoughts in the comment section thanks for doing the watching please subscribe like share and don't forget to leave a comment I'll see you in the next one you have uh, Gideon Mensah. Mm -hmm. You have Ray. Exactly. Ray, 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 Ray. Ray. No, no, no. What, what, what he can do? What he can do? Drop Gideon. Yes. Eh? Leave, then, leave him to go high. Then, um, then gonna, leave him there. Yeah, and, and then leave Gideon in front. That's all. And bring Ross Guy here. No, no, my dear. No, my dear. That's all. Give me that. What I'll do. I'll so, bring you. So you have the place for the pitch to affect. So it will be like this. Could you not get the discipline? Stay here. So, 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 so the shape, the shape will be like this. The shape will be like this. You have uh, Gideon Mensah. Mm -hmm. 